morning, y'all. Hey, this your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. We're going to get right to it, right? It's bright and early in the morning. It's about 7 o'clock. I need to light my grill. I'm cooking a case of chicken today. Um, I did a, a pull for a Boston butt yesterday. Um, and that's already complete. Uh, I just finished uh, shredding it up this morning. I think I did a little short. I do have some video clip for that. So I may shoot that video or upload that video uh, in the near future. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, let's get right to it. Today I am using... You already know and everything about me hates buying cherry already chunked up i buy the logs but ain't no sense in buying the wood until i actually get me something that i can pull behind that actually uses logs so anyway for now king sweet you're getting my money anyway already got everything set up i'm gonna go ahead and light like this and for those out there that have a kamado joke let me tell you you like this leave the lid up about 35 to 40 minutes close and let it settle in and you're in business so we're gonna light this then we're gonna go downstairs and i'm gonna show you my other setup There we go. Vents wide open, lid open. We're ready to get it cracking. All right. Let's go downstairs, y'all. Give y'all a tour while I'm at it. Got my child, child gate on. Safety. Yep. Let's go. Lo and behold. Look what I have here. Yes, sir. Got that Lowe's version already set up. And let me get set up so we can get talking a little bit. And let me give you a little view here. All right. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and light this while we're talking. And I'm going to give you some pointers on this grill if you have this one. All right. So lo and behold, this thing uses electricity and I'm setting it up as we speak. So bear with me, we're gonna do this. Hey, I just use my extension cord, y'all. Turn the power on, my lid's open right now, but once I get it up, and it starts smoking, and we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna show you show you something that you don't forget that I have done. This thing, right? This is to shut off your temps. It literally goes in here. Slide right in, right? Shut off your temps, preserve some of the charcoal from the gravity fed, right? But if you don't take it out when you cook it. It's almost impossible once this chute opens up and it's hot to pull this out. Trust me, I know. So I learned from my experience to take it out before. So I know I was cooking, I took it out yesterday. But anyway, we're gonna let this bellow and come up the temp, and then we're gonna let it do. This right here though, I will tell you this. In about three minutes, we can actually literally stay here. In about three minutes, I can close these lids and that thing will start kicking in and it'll do the rest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time. My smoker is up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time, man. My smoker is back up the temp. As you can see over here, let me let you see. I'm not sure it's digital. 250 and hovering. That's the ease of uh, buying equipment that makes life easier for yourself. So if you don't like sitting out there and going for what you know, then buy you one of these. Or buy you something, tell it cook or whatever like that. I don't believe in them, but hey, each his own. So everything today is with gloves because I'm cooking for somebody else. Um, so keep that in mind, safety first. Um, it's a lot to knowing what to do when you're messing with food, especially chicken. Knowing what temperature to keep your meat above, even when you have it coming down to room temperature. It's a lot that goes into that. So we're going to load this thing up half and half. This the barbecue. I got... The, uh, my caravan style right here. 
So we're gonna pump these things out, out y'all. Oh, good note. I am using a, not sure if you can see it, I'm using a barbecue sheet. And what that does is, it actually uh, saves you from having to uh, mess up your meat if you don't know how to cook. So if you don't know how to cook, use one of them. But the reason why I'm using one is because it's hotter on this side. So for me, what that does is it alleviates me having burnt chicken and having to rotate a lot. So that's through trial and error, learning your grill. So if you got that to play with it, I don't care if you put uh, biscuits on there, they pretty cheap. Then learn your hot spot. Then learn equipment that allows you to get around hot spots without having to put sheet metal in there or uh, different deflectors, stuff like that. It's a cheap one that you can easily wash off and reuse. I throw it in the, uh, the dishwasher, clean it off, and it's, you can reuse it. So that's what I use for this grill because I know my hot spots are right here where my heat comes in. So anyway, we're going to stay tuned. We're going to get this thing loaded out, y'all. All right, y'all, we up here. Big Red about to do our thing on here and load this thing out. Let me show you something real quick. This is what I use on a uh, Kamado for the stainless steel grates, right? Especially with chicken because the meat will stick. I can tell you that right now. I don't care who you are. Unless you sit there flipping it. And you know we don't do that on Big Red. We'll flip. We just load this thing out. So get you some of that. You can use Pam, canola oil, something like that. Um, and this chicken, just word to the wide, I'm putting it down, face down. Right? And what I mean by that is skin down. I call it body down, legs up. But anyway, stay tuned, y'all. We're going to get this thing coming. We're going to come back in one hour. Load it out. Gentlemen, let's give y'all a look at this uh, barnyard pimp. Y'all know what time it is. One hour more. Woo! Get that thing a little spritz. With that secret ingredient. You can always use apple cider vinegar and um, apple juice and uh, water. One third mixed yeast. Let me get a close up. Let you know your boy back. At least on the Kamado. Thing's looking good. Anyway, y'all, we'll be back. All right, ladies and gents, man, if y'all want to compare uh, the Chug Griller, this is the one I mark on this. You see the difference? That's two different styles. Let me stand back so you see. Two different styles of wings. You can tell the ones off of the Kamado if you're trying to compare the, the, uh, the 980 Char Griller to the uh, Motto. That these wings, to give you one more look, these wings, skin on them. Not as tight. I want you to see what I had to bump it up to. 363. And you see my internal temp just because I got a meat probe in there. Uh, 276. Just to get it where it's. So the temperature is a little off on this. Um, but anyway, we're going to push through. And might have to shift some wings to the Kamado just to get it done. I got to go, y'all. Peace. Yes, sir, ladies. Look at here. My barbecue. Man, say less. Crack chicken, doing this thing as usual. Let it sit for a little while so that skin can tighten up. And once again, for those who have the uh, Char Griller 980, I got it set to 353. I was trying to get 275 temp. I have a temp probe in here. Uh, plugged in through some aluminum foil just so I can get temp and I'm at 285, y'all. So stay tuned. We're gonna uh, come back. I'm gonna take the uh, chicken off of the, the Kamado. I'm gonna take a shot. We're gonna hit this road. We're gonna see just what the reviews are from the fans, y'all. The ones that pay for this. Anyway, stay tuned, y'all. All right, ladies and gents, it's that time. Let's see what it's looking like. Yeah. Woo. Yes, sir. I think I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit more. Get that skin a little bit more where I want it. And then uh, we're gonna go from there. Just space them out a little bit. I got room in here. I'm gonna let it sit. I'm just here to sit and let you know I don't play. If the beat don't play, y'all, we get it in. We get it in. Hey, this come out. I'm, I'm homing this thing in, y'all. I'm homing this thing in. 
course, when the uh, the big boy come. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Maybe steaks or something. But anyway, stay tuned, y'all. We'll be back. All right, ladies and gents, there you have it. You have barbecue. You got the Caribbean. And you got the cracked chicken here. I'm going to go ahead and paint it up. I just want to give you a quick view of it before I paint it up. Stay tuned. We'll talk a little bit. Hey, what's good, ladies and gents? I'm on my way down in the country uh, to deliver this food and hang out for a bit. So stay tuned, man. We're going to get a consensus on what they think about this chicken and pulled pork. Hopefully, I get some uh, future customers. Um, you know, me running my mouth. Maybe I'll talk myself into cooking some uh, my, my famous brisket and beef ribs, but we'll see. Uh, stay tuned, y'all. I got a custom grill off. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, we doing vegetables, we doing burgers, we doing everything. Onions, vegetables, and stuff like that yeah. for people to have. You know? We'll see you. Yeah, that's what we doing. Yeah. Yeah, plenty of grills going over here. We got ribs, we got chicken going on. Yeah. Fried fish, chicken, you name it, we out here. Yeah. Woo. Finally done. And that's only because I got to go to another one, y'all. Pray for me. Anyway, it's a good day, good times with good people, man. All right, back y'all, barbecues and barbecues, man. It's your boy, Mr. B, and it was an eventful event, man. We had a blast out there, man. I was hoping, I walked up, put my case of chicken backed up, back my truck up in there, you know, showcasing my little black ribs and everything, and I pull up, and I walk up on this smoker that had probably two times the amount of chicken I brought, and it was steady bringing chicken out. Man, you, you never know. Like, I was so excited to bring my chicken and put it on showcase because you know just jumping back in the game really really hard and uh, of course I wasn't able to get anybody to give me a review because I was so busy frying chicken yep uh, my friends that was out there I was sitting there and I couldn't just watch them if you do anything outside in the backyard cooking grilling hanging out chilling whatever it is nothing in me says I sit there and watch my friends just cook all the food while I'm sitting there sipping on my drink. So I jumped up and I uh, started helping and I was on the fried chicken, y'all. So it had nothing to do with grilling, but your boy can get out on the chicken too. So lo and behold, man, they had fried fish, they had it all, man. So um, like I said, it was an eventful event. We had a blast. And uh, yeah, on to the next. Things popping off and moving pretty quick. So stay tuned for something in uh, September, y'all. I don't play. We out here doing it, man. But anyway, Appreciate everybody that watched this far, man. Watch my journey from way back. Um, as I continue to grow, you grow with me. I don't forget names. Trust me. I remember this firefighter in New York, man, that won my first uh, 250th uh, giveaway. I remember him. I got something for you. Just now that I didn't talk to you up, I got something for you. But anyway, uh, yeah, he was a firefighter and, uh, uh, and retired from the 9-11. Uh, so he was my 250th uh, subscriber giveaway. He won that. So I'm going to reach out to him. Got something for you, man, just because I talked to you up. So uh, stay tuned. Anyway, it's your boy, Mr. Beef and Backyard Barbecue, saying don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, follow your boy on this journey, man. We're taking it to the DMV area. We're here. <laughs>